Hi, it's Imogen Lamport coming from Inside Out Style to answer your colour and style questions. In my lucky dip today, first question comes from Kim. She says, how do I get to be more adventurous with my styling? And I think this is an interesting question because if you want to be more adventurous, that's great. But if you're thinking you should be more adventurous because other people are more adventurous with their style, maybe this is not the right thing for you to do. I think it's really important to know is, is this your personality or is this just, just because you're thinking I should be more like other people? Uh, so this is an interesting question to ask yourself before you do go and start changing your style. So if you want to add more interest in, one way is to look for patterns that you really love. Patterns automatically make an outfit a bit more interesting uh, because they have some dimension and some interest to the to them so therefore I'd go like maybe think about finding a pattern top or something like that but I always find with patterns you have to love the pattern if you don't love the pattern it'll become one of those garments that really you don't wear much in your wardrobe because you're not loving it so I think it's really important to go like to be when you see the pattern to go oh, I just love that pattern it's beautiful I think it's gorgeous all that sort of stuff um there are of course many tips on choosing patterns and of course you can head over to the blog and find out some of those as well but that is something to consider is just is this pattern one that really loves you know that I love just because other people are wearing stripes if stripes are not your thing don't go for them or florals or leopard print or whatever the pattern is a pattern is massively personal but easy way to add some interest to your outfit another thing could be to think about what accessories are you using are you wearing miniature express accessories accessories huge accessories no accessories uh, so even just adding a few accessories can make a big difference even just things like a ring and a little bracelet can just make your outfit more interesting and more stylish uh, so that could be something to think about it like are you adding accessories scarves belts hats glasses hair accessories I mean the list goes on and on interesting shoes so looking at what accessories you're using and how you are using them maybe get a little bit of inspiration rather than piling everything on all at once particularly if you've not been wearing any this is where start with baby steps I never used to accessorize with anything that wasn't miniature um, and then as I started going into the larger scale accessories uh, I just started with a really you know it's slightly larger then slightly larger then slightly larger till I don't even notice I'm wearing a massive necklace <laughs> um, but you know provides a bit of interest for my outfit so with accessories of course again you want to love them they need to be something that excites you and that makes you happy um, just an accessory for the sake of it if it's not something you particularly like then again it, it if it's not appealing to your own aesthetic I think that's really important and some people are small delicate dainty accessory people and other are larger accessory people now larger accessories are much better at creating more interest and style to your outfit when you're wearing plain garments so if you really don't like patterns and some people don't like patterns then larger accessories have a greater place potentially in your style but if you really quite like some patterns then smaller accessories you don't need as much you know accessory to make that outfit more interesting but I always think with any change or any wholesale change to your style it's go in baby steps look around for inspiration whether it's Instagram Pinterest you know street style of celebrities I mean you can Google you know all sorts of stuff just anything you are after Google it uh, and you will find lots and lots of images go into Google images or go into Pinterest great places to get inspiration from and start looking at what they are doing and then just pick one little thing so rather than overwhelming yourself with lots of stuff pick one little thing because often one thing is enough otherwise you can feel too uncomfortable and this is again to where something like my evolve your style style challenge comes in because it is just one small thing each day it's not about doing 10 style challenges at once I really like my evolvers to do just one challenge a day um, because it helps you focus on that aspect what you like or dislike about it versus if you've done lots of things you might not be as aware about what you know if you didn't love the outfit at the end of the day it, you might be putting it down to all the things and the challenges rather than just one aspect of that so I would say just one little thing a day and over 30 days you'll start to have really experimented and 
found out much more about what you do and don't like. So there are some little thoughts about how to kind of improve and upgrade and be more adventurous, but not everybody is has a personality for truly adventurous. And so I think, you know, pattern mixing may be too much, but maybe texture mixing may be for you. There are so many different things you can think about with style. So it is really up to you and your personality about how you want to go. But I do think, you know, starting with something like a style challenge is a great way to experiment, try lots of different things and see which direction you want to go in.